Seek ye out of the book of the Lord, and read. No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. For my mouth it have commanded, and the spirit it have gathered them. I want to give all praise, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to you, brothers, to the four corners of the earth, preaching this word and laboring in this word in truth, love, and sincerity. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. And we always stress this, okay? We always stress that to our people that they need to get into the Holy Scriptures, okay? That they need to uh, uh, hearken to the men of the Lord and the prophets that's teaching his word in truth, love, and sincerity, okay? And it, within all holiness and righteousness. We tell y'all to seek out of the book of the Lord and read, man, you know? To who? To you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, because what? You are the Hebrew Israelites, okay? You're the Hebrew Israelites of the Holy Bible, man, okay? And in this book, it's speaking about you, your powers, right? Which is the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, right? Through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Your, your, your forefathers, you know, or Yahweh call them your ancestors, your people, okay? Y your ways of life on how you're supposed to conduct yourself uh, and, and, and judge the world, man, and rule the world, man, within all righteousness, man. You know? This is your book, okay? Which holds what? Prophecy, you know, this is your history book, uh, the laws, the statutes, the judgments, okay, all these different things which apply to you, okay, and, and how the rest of the world is supposed to be governed, okay, but you're not going to know how to do that if you don't seek you out of the book of the Lord and read, man, you're not going to know how to change your life, you know, how, how, to, how, how to renew your mind, you know, how to, how to judge righteously, you know, when there's a different situation going on, you know. How are you going to do that if you're not into the Holy Scriptures, man? And ultimately, how are you going to know the Heavenly Father, right? And, and it, through His only begotten Son, how are you going to know their ways? Right? Okay. Which ways? The law, statutes, and commandments and the ways that you're supposed to follow, you know? And, and just going into another note, how, how are you going to be a, a judge, right? And you don't have no standard to judge by, man. You know, because according to the scriptures, you can judge. It just has to be in righteousness. You know, it has to be in righteousness. But according to what? According to the Holy Bible, man. You know, and you people that that's not uh, getting to the, getting into these holy scriptures, seeking Yahweh, why Yahweh shy? Man, you're going to be destroyed on this side, man. That that's just that simple, man. Because you're not uh, attaining to these holy scriptures, man. You, you, you're going to uh, continue on a, the path down to destruction. You know, the path uh, of wickedness. Okay? So let's get on Isaiah 34 verse 16 again. It says, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. Right? No prophecy in this book shall fail. None shall want her mate. We don't need any other uh, source, uh, you know, to... Uh, we, don't need, we don't need any other source... To combat well, with these scriptures, man. The scriptures stand alone, okay? Why? Because it, it was through the spirit of the Lord. It says, for my mouth it have commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them. So you're supposed to seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Okay? Um, this was Second Chronicles. Uh, I believe it's, it's 15, right? Verse 12, it says, And they enter into a covenant, right? And who's they? It's the Israelites. It says, And they enter into a covenant to seek the Lord, power of their fathers, with all their heart and with all their soul. That whosoever would not seek the Lord God of Israel should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. You see? So if you're not seeking... The Heavenly Father, if you're not seeking His ways on how He wants you to be, if you're, if you're not uh, trying to understand anything, you're going to be destroyed on this side, man. Okay? Because why? You're, you're seeking your own way, uh, how you want to do things, okay? What Which uh, came into your own wicked heart, meaning your mind, right? Or, uh, or you just want to uh, continue uh, to seek the ways uh, and follow 
of your oppressor or the other nations, man. Which ultimately got us jacked up, right? Which got us jacked up in the first place, all right? Okay? With, with the, the, all the idolatry our people did, right? Which is the worship uh, of the false gods, okay? Uh, being mingled and following their ways and customs. You know, all, all manners of wickedness, man. What you can see in this modern time and age, our, our people still do. Okay? So, verse 13 again says that whosoever will not seek the Lord God of Israel shall be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. So, you're supposed to be trying to, trying to seek Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. You know, to the best of your ability. You know? And the only people that's doing that right now is the elect. Okay? Uh, there's one, one more. You meek. Let's see if it pops up. Um... Here we go. Yep, Zephaniah 2 verse 3 says, Seek ye. Oh man, I'll start at the top. It says, Zephaniah 2 verse 1, Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation, not desire. And who is that nation? Okay? It's the children of Israel, you Israelites, you so called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. You are that nation, not desire. Okay? You, you are that nation that no one wants to be around. You are that nation that people despise. Okay? That mock you. That, uh,. How holds you up as a, as a world shame, right? It says before the decree bring forth, before the day passes a shed, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you, before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you, and we're telling you, our people, Atlant, that the Lord is coming back with fire, man. He's sending His only begotten Son back with fire, man. Yahweh Shai coming back with the holy angels and, and with the chariot, with the chariots of salvation, but almost the chariots, but uh, also Salakia, also the chariots. Uh, that's going to be destroying you people, man. You know? We're telling you before that day, man. Because that day come when the Lord come back. A lot of people, billions of you so-called, billions of you Israelites are, are going to be destroyed, man, on this side. You know? Why? Because y'all re re was rebellious. Y'all was wicked, man. And y'all wasn't trying to seek the Lord. You know? So it says, before the decree bring forth, before the day pass is the shaft, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you. Before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. Because the Lord is angry, man. You know? Verse 3 says, Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth. And who is these meek people? Is it talking about? Is it talking about everyone? No, it's talking about you Israelites. Because we are we are literally uh, meek and a humble people. You know? But guess what, man? Uh, the way of the, uh, the wicked seduceth the righteous. You know? And roughly paraphrasing, the wicked seduce the righteous, man. And, and, and now that they are falling the ways... Uh, of the oppressor, man, you know. It says, uh, Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness. And where are you going to seek this righteous righteousness at? And the Holy Scriptures, man. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. It says, Seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. Hey, and that's why uh, we try to uh, follow the ways of, Okay, of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, to the best of our ability. You know, uh, we, we do the work. Okay, we put forth these videos. We go to the highways and byways like the Lord commanded us. You know, we, we do all these different things. You know, we get, get the blood off our hands. You know, ultimately because we want to be here in the day of the Lord's anger. All right, because you don't know that the, the, uh, what the Lord have come into this place is all out hell. All right, and when I mean hell, don't be simple. Because hell is just a condition. So there's going to be a, a, a hellish condition on the earth, man. You know? So it says, Seek ye, the, seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness, right? From, you'll, you'll, and that's how you do it, uh, by uh, diving into these holy scriptures, understanding the scriptures, you know, seeking the way of righteousness. You know, ultimately fall on trying to be a follower of Yahweh Shai. To seek meekness, it may be ye. It's like it, it may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. And and, and that's the point, you know. Because we want to be hid in the day of the Lord's anger, man. Okay. Um, we get this, right? The Lord's coming back, man. You know, with wrath, with vengeance. Let's get that Isaiah 66, verse 15. It says, for behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword, 
will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slate of the Lord shall be many. So we always mention, man, uh, billions of our people are going to be destroyed. You know, why? Because they're disobedient and they are still wicked, you know, and they don't want to turn back into the Lord. Okay? It says, Good night. Love you. Love you too. Salakia. Salakia for that, brothers. It says, Verse 17, it says, They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the midst, eating swine's flesh, and the abomination in the mouse shall be consumed together, saith the Lord. So this is a future prophecy. This is when the Lord comes back, man. So he's saying, man, if he see his people eating his pork, which y'all love to eat, y'all going to be destroyed, man. You know? And, and, and two weeks ago, I camped by older black woman, right? Which we know she loves cooking chitlins every week, you know? Uh, making that pork bacon she don't want to give up. She got mad because... We said when the Lord come back and, and, and catch you Israelites eating pork, y'all going to be dis destroyed, you know? And, and the first thing she said is what? No, no, that's not true. You know, uh, the Lord's not going to do that, you know? Which, which she, she was very ignorant of it, man. You know, she didn't know because why? She goes to the Harlot House's churches and her pastor tells her she's saved, right? Uh, she can eat whatever she wants. The law is done with, went away with. Just do whatever you like, man. That plantation Christianity doctrine, you know? But why? Because she's not seeking out the book of the Lord and reading for herself. You know, even if she did, she wouldn't have no understanding because you got to be taught by men, okay? Which the, which the spirit of the Lord put on... Uh, a uh, elect group of men to teach this word now, man. Ultimately, 144,000. Okay? But she's not seeking out of the book of the Lord and reading, man. So she's going to be consumed. Okay? She's going to be consumed. You know? And then she made a statement and said, because I, I, I actually put out there, I said, well, Jesus, you know, who you call Jesus? He didn't eat pork. Well, where does it say that? Where does it say that? What you got to understand is the Lord taught the law. He told people to don't sin. And you only can, what, what is sin? First uh, John 3 verse 4, sin is transgression of the law, man. So the law was still in effect. The Lord didn't come to do away with the law, man, or the prophets. But what he came to fulfill? He came to fulfill all the things that was concerning him, you know? So the Lord didn't eat pork, man. The disciples didn't eat pork. They didn't eat that. They kept the law, man, you know, which is complete madness. But, you know, as is the point. Hey, hey, y'all got to wake up, man, and, and start, uh, y'all got to get on the ball, man, you know, you got to seek you the book of the Lord, man, okay, put your, put your, put all your game plan, you know, or you, or ultimately you just, you're going to be destroyed, man. All right, so let's go back to the main point, you know, kind of went off topic, you know? but I know a lot of you people out there, you, you think the same like that older black woman, man, you think the law is done away with. You, know, you think you can do whatever you want, and, and when the Lord come back, it's all going to be peaches and cream. And that ain't true, man. Okay? I just read to you that the Lord is coming back with anger. He's angry. You know? Y'all yeah, got to get out of that plantation Christianity and that church madness to teach you that God is just all love. That doesn't even make sense. You know, you, you people put the Heavenly Father, right, of heaven and earth, of, of, of every living thing, in a box. You just say he's all love. But here it is. You got all these different feelings and emotions, man. You know, you people need to start reading, man. You know, or y'all need to uh, uh, attain and start listening to the men of the Lord teaching his word, man. Okay, so let's read this and close out. I want to keep babbling. Isaiah 34, verse 16, it says, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. For my mouth it have 